minutes to go. I'm in the middle of the video. Yes, exactly. Please log the video. I think I told you to go study. Okay, just one game. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are fine. Um, we are also doing good. Uh, so today um, the video is about uh, maths curriculum as I promised you. Um, sorry for the delay because uh, these two days like today and yesterday they were super busy and uh, we had guests also. So I wasn't able to make a video. So coming back to the point, uh, so here um, I just want to tell you um, that uh, we are teaching our kids in a very different manner and that is completely different from the school. Uh, and so that's why do not expect anything uh, or any practice that I'm going to share with you that is similar to what's uh, being practiced in the school. So this is a kind of a disclaimer that I'm giving you right now. So it's up to you if you want to follow this method or not. But uh, Honestly speaking, we have seen the results of uh, this whole process or the method that we have applied on our older son and now we are applying the same method or the same process on our younger son and we can see uh, some very good results out of it. So it's going to be about the complete journey of my older son. Um, here I'm going to uh, make Ahmed, my older son, the focal point in this whole uh, video. Why? Because uh, we are uh, we are using the similar pattern. Okay, my daughter is here. Yes, don't you know that you're not supposed to interrupt? So, um, in the whole video, um, we are going to uh, be uh, focusing only on Ahmed because uh, uh, whatever we did for Ahmed, the whole uh, procedure or the roadmap or whatsoever you may call it, uh, we are following the same thing for Mustafa and uh, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, it's going very good, uh, just the same way it went for Ahmed. So um, later on you will see um, the written description of the whole process also in uh, the video. But and I will share the books also. Actually, um, in our uh, study method, we, mainly we are not focusing on the books. They are just kind of the of, of a reference point, or uh, we use them as a reference. Otherwise, uh, um, we design or we develop the whole procedure or the whole whole curriculum. You may say ourselves, me and my husband, and. Um, and one more thing, uh, it's about homeschooling, that uh, in homeschooling th there is a very, um, you may say, a big misconception attached to it that the parents are giving the whole education or whole, um, uh, you may say, they, they, they are doing each and every single thing, they are tackling all the subjects and all. Yes, to some level, uh, parents are doing that, they are, like, they are teaching all the subjects, but um, for like or for for the for the higher level uh, for example uh, my older son who is uh, preparing for the o levels obviously there are a few subjects for which i we need uh, subject matter experts because obviously um that is not my uh, area of expertise maths or physics uh, or chemistry even uh, so obviously we have um, um, we have enrolled them in supportive classes and they are um, they are subject matter experts who are teaching them those subjects and uh, for that matter uh, Ahmed goes for a maths class and uh, that's a Cambridge teacher who is teaching him. Uh, maths is all about practice and you see in maths the application of concepts they are repetitive and uh, progressive. So um, it means that uh, there are many concepts or many topics that are being used um, parallel to each other. Our uh, method of teaching our kids is totally different from the schools. So what happens in the school is that they have one book uh, which has all those topics that we are going to discuss today. But what they do is that they tend to teach the whole book in one year and they do not care about this thing whether the kids or the children they have understood all the concepts uh, like really well. 
uh, they have a certain timeline and they have to um, um, like complete the whole uh, course outline in that um, particular time so again it is not their concern whether the concepts are built to a level they are supposed to or they are not so that's none of their business but what we are doing is there uh, is that uh, okay so the process is that we take one topic at a time and uh, we teach that topic for good amount of time sometimes for two months or three months depending upon uh, um, how our our kid is grasping it to what level he is uh, grasping it because there are few topics that he tends to um, understand and then uh, deliver in, in in a very quick manner because it, it interests him or uh, or he he takes interest in that or it's something that appeals um, to him but there are then certain topics that becomes a little problematic for him and uh, since we are very much against the stressful situation or anything that uh, creates a stress for the kid so uh, we just leave him on his pace and uh, we completely uh, tell him that uh, we will teach you the same topic for as much amount of time as you require but you should be comfortable uh, with the with this topic and you should uh, uh, try to understand it to the level where you can ace it so that is our prime you may say um, concern over here uh, so um, there are few topics also uh, that he just took one month to understand and then, then there are topics he took um, almost four months also we teach in a way that the extension of the previous topic uh, keeps on going every single day so I will share that method also and I will show you uh, all his work also not all his work obviously it's not possible in one video but as much as I can I will share it with you so you'll see that if he's even doing fractions uh, you will see that I kind of make a kind of a paper or an assessment every single day for him in each uh, in which he is covering almost each and every topic that has he has covered so far means he will have one addition uh, long addition question one long uh, subtraction question one long multiplication question one long subtraction question uh, sorry a division question uh, one uh, uh, two or three prime factorizations question and then uh, uh, two and three uh, fractions questions um, and the list goes on the the as he's progressing the topics are increasing so this is how uh, here the you will see that there is there is quantity is not our concern quality is our concern so when he's doing all those topics that he has done so far uh, in maths it becomes very easy for him to do it every single day this is the book that mustafa is doing right now so Ahmed is doing uh, the D series right now. So this is D1. Then D2. This book. Then this D3. D4. Uh, um, he has not come this far uh, yet. Uh, but these are the books that he's supposed to do. He has done only D1 yet and um, half of the D2. And uh, this is the uh, past papers for maths. Um, he is also practicing uh, the questions from D1 and D2 from this book. So here I will uh, give you the written demonstration of how he, he has uh, done his O-level uh, math so far and uh, what exactly our approach is secondly mustafa is following the same pattern and uh, i'll show you how far he has done
here I will share with you how my uh, son uh, memorized the tables, both my son, uh, what kind of practice I used to um, carry out. Uh, so you see, uh, they used to do the tables every single day for like a good four to five months, every single day. And then, um, just a second, see over here as well. And this is how, this was exactly I was talking about that uh, every uh, day we used to do all the topics that we have covered so far, uh, like kind of an assessment I used to take uh, every single day and uh, uh, look over here, uh, tables, tables, tables every single day and all the questions and as he was, uh, um, as his topics were increasing or he was progressing in maths, um, his questions were also increasing in the daily assessments. So. And this is just the one register that I'm showing right now and there are like five more registers like this because obviously maths is all about practice and uh, we made sure that uh, our kids they practice their basics as much as they can. watching and please stay tuned for more videos. Allah Hafiz.